Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to go through projects on Sage Instant, Sage 50, and Sage 50 Cloud accounts. I'll go through the basics of projects. Projects is very similar to departments. If you're not familiar with departments, then please just search for the Bookkeeper Master departments. I have a quick five minute video that goes through the basics of departments. You can actually find it on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Click on free stuff, go down to the Sage videos, and then on this page, there'll be Sage 50 departments. If you just click on that, you can watch the videos about departments. But basically, departments allows you to analyze income and expenses in more detail because you can allocate income and expenses to certain departments. That could be departments within a business, such as the accounting department, uh, the warehouse department, the sales department, or the sales team. You can allocate invoices, um, expenses to those departments and then analyze how much those things are costing you. You can also do the same with geographical locations such as the North, South, East, West, UK, France, if you're selling abroad. It's very useful, but it's not really ideal for small businesses because it's just not needed. But as a business gets bigger, departments can be very useful. Now, projects is very similar to departments. The only real difference is projects is to analyze income and expenses for individual jobs rather than allocating income expenses to departments. So with projects, what you do is on the left hand sidebar here, you go down and click on projects or you can go to modules and click on projects. No matter which route you take, uh, you'll be taken to this page. You'll have a list of projects. There's only one currently that uh, on Sage that's active. To add a new project, simply just click new you'll then have this screen appear. You give the project a name such as uh, pool water. This could be pool water house. It could be some sort of refurbishment or house build project. Choose the start date and the expected end date of the project. You'll probably want it to be active if you're adding a new project. There are other options here such as completed, initial, um, and some other options too. You can enter some information about the project such as the site details and you can also allocate a customer to the project. So it's likely that most projects are just going to be for a single customer. Ensure the customer is added on Sage on the customer module and then you'll find them on this drop down list and you can choose a customer to allocate to the project. Now once the project has been added just like departments, whenever you raise an invoice, post an invoice, record an invoice, record an expense, any financial transaction for the business, you can simply just use the column for project reference to allocate that transaction to the project. So on this page, if I just select a customer, or actually do a, a supplier invoice, that might be easier, so suppliers, do invoice with department, we just click on the drop down list and choose the department to allocate the invoice to or the expense to. With project, it's exactly the same. So we can click on pool water house. This is the job we just added. And then the cost code is it labor, is it material, or is it an overhead? Enter the information. Once a transaction has been saved and a project has been selected on the transaction, it will appear on the jobs activity. There are a number of tabs here that are very useful, such as budgeting for projects, analysis of projects, such as the profit and loss and ongoing expenses for a project. Now, I understand I've gone through this pretty quickly. Um, it's been a very quick overview of projects. The best thing to do with Sage and any accounting software is just to play around. 
know, there is demo data. There's also free trials with Sage. There's a link in the description below. Just play around. The more you play around, uh, the more you'll get to know these features of Sage. There are a couple of features up here though that I will go through, such as charges and credits. If you want to allocate stock and other expenses and credits to a project, you can do so by clicking the charges and credit icons at the top here. These are transactions that are not going to show on an invoice or go in and out of the bank. Like I said, such as allocating stock, you can do that here. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions about projects, I do offer email support for Sage. It's £45 a year for unlimited email support over a 12-month period. Just go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on services, email support, and Sage email support. You can then subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll speak to you in another video.